What's up, y'all? It's Osiris back with another reaction, y'all, from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. I got Justice Lee Peterson reaction from uh for y'all. Damn, what the hell's happening? Sorry, y'all, my damn thing was on there. But hey, before we get into this reaction, please hit that like button, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribe by 200 subscribe by end of this month. So please do share with your friends, family, whoever you see, strangers, whoever you see. I don't care, whoever you see, just go ahead and share with them. Go ahead and show them the video. Show, tell them to subscribe. So the title of the reaction name is Dusty Lee Peterson Savage Moments. Part ten. I told I told you I was gonna do some more just more Justice Lee Peterson uh, reactions and stuff like that. So yeah, what's getting here, y'all? And y'all tell me what else to react to. I don't know what else to react to. I'm just you know, on Justice Lee Peterson. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. What's getting here? Uh, I'm losing my voice, but I think it's a little better today. Um, even one of my employees was telling me that he woke up this morning. He has the same stretchy, itchy, swole like throat on both sides. So it might be an ill leak of alien's disease. <laughs> Damn, Jesse. Damn. Remember when Donald Trump said the Chinese virus? <laughs> Faye, first let me ask, is it true or false what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, turn on. Faye, turn your What's wrong with you? Turn your radio off, the TV off, or down. What's wrong with Go her? Go ahead. See, I'm listening to you. See, uh, affirmative action listener. <laughs> Me, personally, I don't see why you would let that go through. So morally, I have a problem with that. You don't have a problem with that. The state of Alabama because I don't have a believe it just because someone said. Oh, so it. you don't believe that you don't believe it accusers anyway. I don't believe it until the proof is there. No, so you like, don't believe them at all. Just like if someone said that about you, but you're in the entertainment field. These women, liberal feminists, hate men. Well, why does it have to be and liberal? Then, why can't it just be a regular person? Because normal women don't do this. If someone all of a sudden accuses you, you've been with a lot of women. How and do you it, know this? You, you, you can't can make generalizations. See, over you. see that, that's that judgment. You see that? That's that judgment. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> judgment right there. Have you been him. with a lot of women? I've been a, with a, yep, yeah. <laughs> a few. Have you been with a lot of women? I've been with a few. Have you been with a lot of women? I've been with a few. It's a few a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he cried tears of joy for his mother when she came out as a lesbian. 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 That that's not logical. And, and who cried? This man is a liar. He's a miserable liar. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. If my mom said something like that, I'd probably be pretty mad. But like, what? That's backwards. You know what I mean? No, that's just my own opinion. You know what I mean? But. We see young black men being killed in the streets. Uh, at the hands of not only each other, but law enforcement. Um, and they're always under suspicious circumstances and there never seems to be adjudication or justice. Wait, hold on. I, I'm, I got it. The hands of not only each other, but law enforcement. Um, and they're always under suspicious circumstances and they're. Wait, black on black crime is under. Come on now. We, we know exactly why. Stop it. Stop it never seems to be adjudication or justice uh, for those who are unarmed and, and are victims of this. And I think if Dr. King were here, were here, he'd be on the front lines with Black Lives Matter and other organizations, and he'd be challenging this government. No, you wouldn't. No, you would not be with Black Lives Matter. You need to. That man was an upstanding citizen, upstanding black man. Don't put that with uh, BLM. I'm pretty sure he, he 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 liked the slogan, but I don't think he I don't think he would agree agree with the uh, organ organization. And this nation to honor the civil rights that he fought for and his generation died for, literally. Amazing. So this is a hypocrite. This is a liar. This is a daughter of the lie. So. Martin Luther King Jr. would be marching with a far left, liberal, radical, agitative, evil organization like Black Lives Matter. 
that was founded by black radical lesbians, phony as a eight dollar bill. And the weak, <laughs> pathetic, poor, pitiful excuse of a man, Obama reached over and killed. They definitely pieces is not like uh Shamil, uh Shamel, uh uh Michelle Obama. He be calling her Big Mama. <laughs> yeah. Big Mama. Because had he not, she probably would have flowed him. This picture, now I don't know if this real, it's too gross. Big Mama's at the game and she's like holding her arms up, yelling for the team, I guess. And under her arms, look nasty. Hair, it look gross. And then she's fat as a pig. She forgot to put a girdle on. And then her, <laughs> this has to be Photoshop. She looks as though she's from the south side of Chicago. That's too nasty. I wonder if Big Mama paid Obama to marry her. She is fat as a pig. I told you Big Mama's eating all the ribs. Sorry. Don't ever apologize for getting emotional. It just means you are that much closer to what's meaningful. I had a mother who told me constantly how special I was. She would say to me very often, mijo, my son. I know, I know just the people say, He's about to say, Beta! I know he's about to say it. I could already guess it. I, I, I could already guess. I, even, I haven't even seen this before. I know he's going to say it. I know he's going to say it. There's no doubt about it, he's going to say it. Son, you are mad. How much you want to bet, y'all? Put in the comments right now how much. I, I bet y'all five dollars that he about to say after after when after this little clip. And to do great things in this world. The world will know your name. And boy, did that light a fire underneath me. And my goal was to be a famous actor, then the first Polish Mexican American president of the United States, and then I was going to end racism. I had this cheerleader. I had this woman, my mom, constantly would dust me off, get rid of my self doubt, and push me back out there. <laughs> Welcome to the Father's State. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. Today I'm joined by some accomplished entertainers. I have with me Joe. Oh, he is, he is saying, uh, I might have lost that bet. But we'll, we'll see if he's going to say it to them, to them, though. Joe Hernandez Kolsky. He is an Emmy Award winning and two time HBO Death Poet. Yeah. Thank you for coming, man. My pleasure. Wow, this is going to be fun. I can tell already. <laughs> when you were growing up, when he ordered a sitting like a woman. You attacked by the man. He looked like them, like them, uh, them uh, natural women. Man. Oh, this whole spirit is getting these, these trachras and these energies is all in my, in, in the body of me. And I got to say, Mexicans for being mixed. No. Uh, never. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we both have had very interesting experiences. Like my, I, my high school experience, I went to a predominantly black high school in Chicago. I mean, I, it was the same high school that Michelle Obama went to. Uh, what is a man? What is a man? That's quite a... Well, I think, uh, I think what is it, the, the uh, X chromosome? X Other X than the physical parts of a man, what is a man? I don't think there is one single definition. I think there are 4.5 billion different men in this country yeah. and they all have their own definition. Are you a man? Absolutely. You are a man. So what is a man so in your opinion? My definition is I grew up being the best friend of the girls. Like I was always like, I just hung out with girls. And like from the age of 10, when all the boys were roughhousing outside, and all the girls were inside dancing on the dance floor. I was like, that's where I want to be. Wow. And so, you know, I grew I mean, I don't mind you hanging out with girls. I, I, I do believe, like, hanging out with your boys and stuff, you know, roughhousing is, I think it's, that's a good experience for boys to get, you know what I mean, to be honest. You know, they get all the energy out. And, I'm not a lot too. He, he sound like, he sound a little, well, just a little female-ish, to be honest. But, I, you know... I don't mind it. I don't mind her rough housing. You know what I mean? But like, you know, if you want to hang out with the girl, maybe he like, maybe he was a lady man. You know what I mean? Maybe he liked the ladies. You know, maybe he was getting, maybe he was getting them. You know what I mean? Reason. 
Well, what? Amazing. Do you identify more with the female rather than the male? Well, it's interesting. I think I've gone through phases in my life where I was the one boy in the dance class. I was the one boy in the yoga class. I feel what different. What caused you to become so emotional? So I was always taught that never be, it's never wrong to, to cry. And Who it, taught you that? Uh, my mom and my really? dad, yeah. Did you fuck? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's nothing wrong when you cry, but as a man, like, I don't. If I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna be, you know, go to the bathroom real quick and, you know, you know, you know, wipe it, wipe it off and, you know, back to, back to business. No, that's just my opinion. I think, you know, I don't know. Father know that your mother was teaching you to be emotional and play with sure. your dad with the girls? Yeah, because I would do my little footloose dance move and they just they fell in love crazy. with me. You, Joshua, uh, yeah. other than the physical part of the male, what is a man? Well, I mean, look. Um, gender is a construct, right? Gender is a construct that was created to create power. And Joe can have a feeling that creates an emotion in him. Wait, is, is gender and sex different now, right? Gender and sex is different, right? Because there's no, I don't know. I always thought they were the same thing, but I guess not anymore. And he can express that emotion. And I know that it's my job as his partner, as, as, as working with Joe to go, all right, that's how my friend feels. So are they gay? Y'all tell me the comments if, if them two are gay. He's expressing his emotion. But also, I know that I can't let that experience affect me to where I become irrational. Yeah. So there's space for emotion. So do you tell Joe to cut it out? Uh, what, not in what, those what, words. Like, cut out all that mess. No. Well, well, like a man. Well, we've learned how to accept that we're both man very... Up. We're both very passionate about what we believe in. Right. And so when we get into the creative writing room, we both have opinions and we, we really like we, we we hash it out which is i think a pretty amazing i think it's pretty powerful what we do the fact that it, we've dedicated our lives to 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 navigating what's going on inside of us right. you said that gender is a construct yeah what do you mean by construct construct meaning that it is man-made meaning that there's no man scientific proof that it exists except for the <laughs> rehearsal of it in our society yeah. is your father is your, uh, joshua is yeah. your father an emotional man my father is a man who definitely has access to his feelings if that's what you're asking me right so, so does that mean yes, he is an emotional man? Let me ask, have you seen the movie Inside Out? No. Oh. Yeah, he would So like let it. me ask you, <laughs> is your father Cause, cause when that movie? rocket went up, I just want to know if, if a tear came out of your eye. That's all I want to know. Have you seen right? Bambi? No. <laughs> you ever seen Bambi? Sorry, y'all, I thought somebody was up to hell. No. Have you ever seen a cartoon movie before in your life? Uh, Pop out of Sailor Man. Well, that's, well you're hey. missing a lot of art out there. He said Pop out of Sailor Man. Yeah, he, all he needs is spinach. I've seen, I think I've seen Bambi and, you know, right? The red nose reindeer, right? That's Bambi? Or that's wrong. I don't know. Bambi's the red nose reindeer, right? There. But yeah. I'm just not into or like finding Nemo like mm -hmm. when but the little tortoise falls off, and then you're worried that it's not going to make it you, back. You, right. uh, why is it that I'm like stunned listening to you guys right now yeah. <laughs> about uh, okay, it's okay for men to be emotional. I yeah. never, growing up, yeah, I never thought I would see the day when I would hear men agreeing to become like a woman. Well, look, that, rather yeah, again, than to be as a as a yeah, black man. Let me ask this. Yeah. Let me ask this. Yeah. Why is it that in society today, there are people who are trying to destroy masculinity, but not destroy uh, women? Well, yeah, they have trying to turn men into women, but not women let, Let's men. go to that question. Why because is that? It's a great question. First of all, have you noticed? That, that, is, that is a great question. He, he got a point. Um, I think I understand what you're saying, so but you I, dis noticed? I disagree with the way you're rephrasing you it. You notice this happening, right? I notice what's happening is people are breaking down the construct. And so, you know, you look at well, slavery. why are they turning men into girls? Well, you look at slavery, and I don't know who they is, but you look at slavery. <laughs> the man hated it, feminists and weak men and, well, well, feminists and the are media just... and stuff like that. So look, why look, are they turning, let's, let's go back why are they to... turning men into girls and why are men accepting it? Let's go. I would never want to be a girl. Right. Well, you're missing out. Why but would, let me, let, what so, about miss? I mean, all that emotion we, and stuff is not good. Well, women are awesome, but I, but I also feel like awesome? so awesome, awesome. Like, In what way? How are women how awesome? Are women awesome? Yeah. If you have to ask that oh. question, so I don't you. know what else to tell you. <laughs> how are they awesome? How are women awesome? I mean, 
I mean, we can first of all talk home about. Home in- Does he have like joggers and? Mm, that's different. That's a different kind of thing. So then, okay, so let's okay. So if we have a society of nothing but dudes. Does that oh. sound like a society you want to live in? How are women awesome? I mean, yeah, yeah, like, how are women awesome? Like, I'm not saying, no, I believe women are beautiful and stuff, right? I mean, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're awesome, I guess. I wouldn't even say men are, are awesome. You know, I think we do, I think we do our roles good, you know. I don't know about these now, these days and now, but I think I'm awesome, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... So, 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 I'm cool, you know what I mean? I'm awesome, you know what I mean? But I think highly of myself. I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't think you should put women on a pedestal, though. But that's just me. Awesome. Well, that's, that's the answer to your question. That doesn't answer my question. It does, because no. because if by, by nature... Are you saying they are awesome simply because they are on Earth and they are women? Uh, right. That's that's one, one of the, the ways. Start there, that, sure. Yeah, like really? the, the fact that they exist is a a woman? amazing. Yeah, a woman have you have ever to, seen? The, I, well, no, I'm not, a woman doesn't have to there. do much but you to didn't be tell awesome. Me, yeah, how just she by, awesome. Well, by the fact that she gets to exist and and express just by that is a is a, an amazing thing. Like, I think, I, but I do think that there's you know, something to be. Say but I think, and I think in the end, we are seven billion individuals, <laughs> regardless of male or female. And when you put them under pressure, we know the old metaphor of you take a piece of coal and you put enough pressure on it, you have a diamond. I think that's very important. Are you when, saying that women don't buckle under pressure? I think women have had to or, come, overcome a lot. Do they buckle under pressure? No. I yes, think people do. buckle no, under I pressure. No, yes, I think I think some people that have difficulties. Absolutely not true. You oh. don't think men buckle under pressure? No. I, well, yeah, now these days. But... Just thinking about like men with like you know masculine and stuff like that, you know, go sit your work, go sit your work, go sit your work. Don't play with me. Go sit down. Oh, oh, oh okay. I think Weak men do. Weak I think emotional men, men do. I think but men, not real men. No, I think real men. Real men overcome def- the pressure. Weak men buckle under pressure like a woman would do. No, but I think that's the same can be said for women, for 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 strong women and weak women. And I think we all are overcoming our different different. You do you believe women are awesome as well? Absolutely. <laughs> and what's awesome about them? Uh, in my life, my life has gr- has been radically improved by every woman I've ever ha- had come into my life. That's so sad. How why is that why sad? That's, sad? that's like just sad. <laughs> okay, so my mother is an uh, what educator. What has happened to manhood? I mean, you, are you just like your mother? Uh, in certain. So would you? I wonder if they would say the same thing about their father. In ways I am, but in other ways I'm like my father. Um, who was your mom? Amazing. Wait, who was your well, mom? At- who, was, who was your mom? Uh, Katie Peterson. What did what, what did she do for a living? She was a housewife. She was, and, and, and yeah. were you around her often, or no? No, he, he was, no I was he, raised by my grandparents. Grandparents. Okay, yeah. so your grandmother was yes. around. Was she? Was, how, what was she like? She was a good, hardworking, decent woman. Yeah, she was not awesome. She wasn't awesome. No, there was no, no awe about the work she did. In those days, women were noble women. Right. And they but nobility has a certain awe to they it. They understood right? the order of life, and they understood the order of men and women. They would not even want you to call them awesome. Yeah. Because they understood the art, uh, the order. Right, that, that was their duty. Life, and now you have these weak women and weak men right. who they're into the awesome because they're trying to make up for something that was lost. And what mm. was lost? Love, strength. The right. men are weak, so the women are weak. But isn't and now you got to pretend that they're awesome? But isn't love an emotion? No. Love's not an emotion. That father state love is the yeah. one that when you have anger, you have anger. I do have anger. And you have anger. Mm-hmm. That's why you think that. Women are awesome because I'm having because you become like your mother. You're in a fallen state, so you feel and think like women. White people came here, enslaved a bunch of people, created genocide, and then said, "Look what I did." Look what I did. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> White people totally did that. And that's America, absolutely. But they do that in Africa too. Black sell what? Who black, does uh, enslave other blacks? Sure, humanity's they flawed. Use blacks. Do both of you agree? that if white people become the minority in the United States of America, that the United States of America will become a ghetto. A ghetto? First of all, yeah. you, mean, you mean a place where, where uh, ingenuity, ingenuity comes out of poverty? No, no, just Lupita, I, I, yeah, that one, uh, that's, 
No, nah, I don't think it would turn to a ghetto. I just believe, you know, he would just have to kick all all the like the bad people out that had rack seats and stuff like that. Wanted to sell drugs to their community and stuff. Like there's some good upstanding black people. You know what I mean? Upstanding. Like I I mean a lot of them. Like there's some upstanding black people. You know what I mean? Now you talking about the you talking about like a a minority? Not minority. Yeah, a small percentage of the black community. Yeah, uh, I mean a place where that's what, that's where what, normal that's people what have to go to though. the moon to live. So how many hours of Fox do you watch per day? None, maybe one. Okay, that's a lot. you go show. deeper than that. So what do you mean? Like where do you get your 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 news from? I am the news. He is the okay. news. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's the end of the video, y'all. Uh, I don't know if I should put a. I might. I might do one more. I I got four I got four about to pop out. I might do another one, y'all. I might do another one. Shoot, I might as well. I'm gonna do it. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all tell me what y'all think up in the comments about Justin Lee Peterson and the and them like he didn't say beta, so I I just I, dang whoever comes in first. I'm like dead serious. I gotta actually give you five dollars. You gotta put your cash up in there first though. But hey, uh, um. Yeah, like I think both of them was kind of I don't know, kind of like on, kind of like more more I don't know, more a little beta beta ish or something like that. I'm not gonna call it full beta, but I, and y'all tell me are they gay or because he said partner, so I don't know I don't know what he meant. So I, when people say partner, I I assume now they're, they're gay or something like that you know what i mean but hey y'all uh, i will see you guys on the next one please hit that like button subscribe button and share this video with everybody that you see your family friends kids whoever and i'm trying to hit 200 subscribe by the end of this month so please do hit that osiris is out from the fat man's podcast and i will see you guys on the next one